Hey everyone, it's Shannon. And Paul. And today we are here together to do another Ever After High doll review. Woohoo! Paul was missing on the last couple Ever After High dolls, but I think Duchess Swan is one of his favorite Ever After High dolls yet, right? Yes, she is. So I had to save this one and do the review with him. Cool. <laughs> so here she is. Um, she is brand new. I don't know if stores... We haven't found any of these in stores yet. We actually ordered her online. Yep, from Amazon, right? Yep. She came from Amazon. Amazon's a good place to look if you're looking for Shopkins or dolls or whatever. They, you know, just keep watching because the price changes. But we ended up getting her for retail. So, yeah. So, you know, we didn't pay too much. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, Duchess Swan. This is what she looks like in the box. Sorry, we're getting a glare from our lights. And here's the back. And look at, she looks so cute in this box art. She does. I like her. And we have a review of Gingerbread House up. And we're going to purchase Kitty Cheshire. And I'm not sure about that Lizzie Hart. So we need to look and see if she's somebody different. But anyway, let's read a little bit about Duchess Swan. It says, even though she's a fairy tale princess with a prince charming, Duchess's destiny is to change into a swan forever after. But this ambitious ballerina has two sides to her. One moment, she's enchantingly graceful, a white swan. The next, her fiercely competitive black swan side comes out. If Duchess has her way, she'll have the most popular fairy tale at Ever After High. And then there's more stuff on the back of the box, which I'm not going to read all that. But if you buy her, you can check that out. So I think without further ado, we're just going to take her out of the box and take a closer look at her. Sounds good. She comes with a hairbrush, which I think every doll does. On creation. Yeah. <laughs> and here is her bookmark. I like her little charms. She has a little Ever After High key and the ballet slippers and a little diamond jewel. And inside, it's just like a little story about her. There's little doodles and stuff, which are cute, except for that one. That's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> and here's more. So this is cute. These come with all of the dolls, too, which is nice. And we may have a Simon visit us here in just a minute. He's a fan of Shopkins and Ever After High dolls, <laughs> apparently. And there he is. There he is. Okay, Simon, you need to move so Duchess can have her moment in the spotlight. Scoot, baby. Scoot. Okay, so here she is. Let's pull her a little bit closer and get a better look at her. Never mind the kitty in the background. Okay, so uh, let's start with her hair. She has black and white or silverish, kind of whitish hair. And then also right through here, she has pink and purple highlights, which I'm not sure if the camera's picking up real well, but in person, it's really pretty. It's pretty subtle, but... Yeah, it's a nice contrast. Yeah, it is really nice. Um, I like her hair. She has it, it's in a ponytail kind of off to the side, if you can see there. And Simon, really, <laughs> that's what happens when you have cats. <laughs> Simon's getting... <laughs> He's going to sit with Paul. <clears throat> okay. Um, in her hair, she is wearing this black headband, and it has this, like, feather and flower dealy ma bob, which is... A technical ballet. Yes, term. a technical term. <laughs> she has this dealy ma bob going on up here. But also, this headband's kind of neat because the black part of it here is in the shape of a flower, and then it also has this, like, beaded piece that comes out. So it's fancier than a lot of the headbands that have been on dolls. And let's talk about her face for a minute. I really like the makeup job they did on her. Um, her eyes are rimmed in pink eyeshadow on both the upper and lower part of her eye. And her lips are two-tone pink. Let's see if we can get that picked up. It's um, like a darker fuchsia pink, like a lip liner she's wearing. And then her lips on the inside are a lighter pink. And I just think that's really cute. It just... It really makes her lips, like, pop or stand out. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. And, and I would not have noticed that. I just I thought her face looked prettier than other dolls, but I I did not notice that, that that's why. 
Yeah. It's because of Rise Her Lips. So, she's really cute. She's really pretty. And then she has two silver earrings on. She has the same one on both sides. And they're like a swan feather look. And then she has a black choker necklace. And it looks like that's just supposed to be like a, a jewel in the center. Okay. Let's do the rest of her jewelry. On this hand, she is wearing a ring across two of her middle fingers, and it's a little silver swan. And on this hand, she has a charm bangle bracelet, and that has a little swan charm on it right there, which is cute. I just like the details that they added that. And then she has kind of a basic purse. I mean, it's cute. It's this little lavender ruffly purse, but... As far as what I've seen on some of the other dolls, that's a pretty basic purse. Yeah. But it's okay that it's basic because her outfit more than makes up for it. So she has this ballet, I'm going to call it inspired dress because it has the different tool and different layers, but it's not technically a ballet dress. Right. Or at least what we would call a ballet dress. Maybe in Ever After High this is. I don't know. Haven't, haven't seen a show or anything. Yeah, I, I I would say it's ballet inspired. The fashion is like inspired by yeah, because it's what, not a tutu. No, it's not and a tutu. The, I mean, that's ballet tutu. Right, go hand in hand. <laughs> yeah, looking at her story real quick, I think we're going to get a future line of dolls centering around a dance. Oh, that would be pretty. Yeah, that would be the pretty. ballet line. Uh -huh. I almost thought, what are they called? The beach ones. Um, uh, Mirror beach. Mirror Beach. When I first saw those, I almost I thought those were dance dolls because mm -hmm. anyway, we haven't opened those yet. We're a little behind on dolls, but let's get back to Duchess. <laughs> so um, on her outfit, she's wearing this black, really detailed waist cincher or corset. This piece actually it's going to be hard to see because of the stand, but it does unbuckle right here or unsnap, mm -hmm. so you can take that piece off, but. It's nice quality. Instead of just, like, pushing it on and hoping it stays, it actually fastens shut, which I like. I like when they put detail and make the dolls nice. What's nice about that is, is that something that I think looks really good on her, but, like, let's say you wanted to customize a doll and make it, like, a steampunk look. Mm -hmm. That would be a great piece. It would. It have. definitely would. So, onto her dress, it is one solid dress, even though it has multiple layers and looks to it. She has the black spaghetti straps up here with, like, pink sparkly tulle accents on them. And then, <clears throat> this is like a lavender and white patterned print top that kind of goes down into, I think that's a, called a princess waist? Princess style? I forget the style name. I am not a fashion person. I don't know. Fashionista. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the technical terms, but I know that has a, a style name. And then she has this little pink tool sparkle piece going all the way around. And that, I think, helps make it look even more like a tutu style dress. Mm -hmm. Then it goes down to the skirt part of the dress, which is two layers. The layer underneath is this um, black and like silver or gray kind of like a check print to, to me to me it's reminiscent of the fishnet pattern that her tights are yeah um but it's just printed it's not it's not an actual net or anything and then she has this layer over it and this layer is really pretty it's see-through as you can see there so it allows that like paul said fishnet kind of look print to show through and then this has white and black glittery print all over it with stars and feathers and stuff. And I don't know. I just, I like it. It's really cute. I like the colors. She's a very um, sweet doll. I can't think of like a word I want to use other than sweet. Like a lot of times they're very bold or very bright. She's just very, she's it's, very pastel. It's a very feminine looking doll. Yeah. To me, that... That, Feminine, that, that, there you go. Yeah. I just, I really, really like her. And then she has black fishnet pantyhose. Um, they're a little bit baggy on her. <laughs> that's, what are you going to do? That's the one thing. The Ever After High dolls, the fishnets are always a little baggy on them. 
I don't know why. Like Barbie, they usually fit tight, and Ever After, it just seems like they're always a little bit baggy. But hmm. yeah, I'm not sure why. Um, but anyway, she has fishnets, and then look at her shoes. They, I know Paul's gonna like these. I, so, I love those shoes. These are ballet inspired. They're just like they almost remind me of like when ballerinas go on point. Um, she doesn't have the heel. She has like the vanishing heel there. It's a platform wedge, so her foot's fully supported in there. But then she has the lace ribbons that she can tie up around her feet, around her ankles, to keep it on. And I just, they're so cute. They're pretty. Mm -hmm. They're not cute. They're pretty. She's a pretty doll. So let's see. Let's move her up. Whoa. Now she's super up close. So what do you think, Paul? What do you, what's your thoughts on Duchess? She's one of my favorite Ever After High dolls, um, just just based on the way that she looks. I don't know what her character is like on you know on the webisodes, on the cartoon, or anything. Um, I might have to to check that out and kind of see like what some of the characters are and what they're like. Um, you know, just kind of looking at her story briefly, it looks like you know she could she could be one of those characters that you know you kind of love to hate. Um, Maybe she's a little bit snotty on the show. I don't know. I don't know. She's one of the royals. Okay. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But but, but regardless of what her personality is on the show, just looking at the doll, um, I love the doll for, for a lot of the reasons that you've already said, but it, 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 she, just, she is just a very feminine-looking doll to me, but still, but still having that fun, flirty kind of uh, look about her. Very good. I don't think I need to say any more. You've said it all. I have said it all. That is, <laughs> that is it. it is the final word. There are no it more is, words. It is finished. <laughs> so just real quick, I'm going to show her top to bottom. See, I'm using hand to zoom. <laughs> zoom power with the hands. <laughs> that is Duchess Swan. Why don't you guys leave a comment, let us know what you think of Duchess Swan, if she's a character you like, or if you plan on getting her when you find her. Um, we'd love to hear. And make sure to check out our other Ever After High videos that we've put up over the last couple days and days to come, because we still have quite a large pile of dolls we need to get through. So we're going to be yes, bringing you lots more Ever After High. Yes, we shall. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day or night, wherever you're at. See you.